Team, welcome back to another episode of Inside the Program. The point of this video is to talk to our live, perform and compete subscribers about the new training cycle and what to expect. As always, we're gonna begin with the live program. We're gonna start by going through each of your training days, which is Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, and just quickly talking about the priorities of that training day and what to expect. Starting with Mondays for the live, uh, for the live program, we're gonna be doing some power clean and push pressing. There's always gonna be an element of Olympic lifting on that Monday. We're then gonna be swapping up our B work. We're gonna be focusing on deadlifting for the next training block. And then we're gonna be finishing those Monday sessions with a short, harder barbell or weighted object based conditioning session. Tuesday, which is quickly being popularized as aerobic Tuesdays, are gonna to continue to be aerobic Tuesdays. So keeping the variance fairly high here, long to moderate bouts of work, looking at sustainable and repeatable efforts. Wednesday, of course, is a catch up day or a rest day for the live program. Thursday is a critical training day, which means it's one of our priority training days. Similar fashion to what we've been doing in the last two training cycles, this is gonna be a bodybuilding split. So we're gonna combine a lower body with an upper body exercise for our A work, a lower body with an upper body exercise for our B work, and we're gonna be finished with some aerobic and trunk work combined together. On Fridays, we're gonna be prioritizing back squatting again. It's been a while since we've had back squats in the program. We spent the last training cycle focusing on the clean and the front squat. So it's important that we do revisit these. We're gonna be following this with some gymnastics and weighted movement couplets. So you may see things like press ups with a dumbbell or barbell movement or pull ups with a dumbbell and barbell movement combined in like an EMOM style format on a Friday. And then we'll be finishing with again, a short higher intensity conditioning piece. Saturdays, of course, are our Saturday testers, a chance for us to break away from the template and structure a little bit, give you guys a chance to watch our uh, technique and strategy videos, build a plan, execute the plan, and have fun with it. For the perform and compete program, on a Monday, we're gonna be moving back to clean and jerking in its entirety. So the last training cycle for the last eight weeks, we've had those two movements separate. It's important that we do bring them back together every now and then. Similarly, we've been deadlifting primarily on a Friday in last training cycle. We're moving our deadlifting into a Monday just to break up the, uh, the structure of the training cycle. We're gonna be finishing your Mondays with a short, hard conditioning piece. Expect to see things like barbell cycling or heavy loaded dumbbell movements. Your optional accessory work on a Monday for the perform and compete groups is some upper body and lower body bodybuilding-esque accessory work. Tuesdays for the Perform Compete program continue to be aerobic focused. Really what we mean by that is that the structure of how the sessions may look may change from session to session, but the goal is always gonna be the same. Either sustainable, repeatable work or incremental training sets, which means that your pace per round is gonna increase. So pacing is always gonna be a theme of our Tuesday aerobic sessions. Your optional accessory work if you're in Perform or your mandatory accessory work if you're in Compete is gonna be strongman-esque training with a big emphasis on time and attention on your trunk. On Wednesdays, it's continued to be a snatch focused day for the Perform and Compete program. So we're gonna be starting with some isolated snatch, moving a little bit heavier than we have in past training phases. Your B work is gonna be muscle up accumulation. Uh, so we're trying to string together bigger sets of muscle ups on the bar or rings. And then those who already can do bigger sets of muscle ups to then build capacity with those movements. You're gonna be finishing on a Wednesday with some snatch higher skill gymnastic type Metcons. Uh, this is gonna be kind of a little bit more varied and less structured, but we're always gonna probably see some form of snatch or some form of overhead squat and some form of complex gymnastic movement in something like a handstand walk or bar gymnastics movements. Accessory work for the Perform Compete program on Wednesday is handstand bias work. Again, gonna give you guys a bunch of options there and allow you to select the most appropriate stimulus for you. And then we're gonna be backing that up with some upper body and low body movement work. So what we mean by movement work is technically everything is movement work, but exploring different variations of movement uh, in both the upper and low body. Thursday, of course, is our rest day for the full perform and compete program. But Fridays, we're gonna be focusing first and foremost on building some squatting strength. Squatting in the last training cycle, we've kind of stepped away from a little bit. We've been, we've been maintaining front squat strength by doing squat clean work. So now it's time to build some absolute strength with the back squat again. From the back squat, we're gonna be moving into a gymnastics barbell couplet for our B work. 
Again, we will be progressing this, but expect to see some variants in there, kind of some more elements of CrossFit trickled in there. And we'll be finishing our Fridays with a short, harder, more higher intensity CrossFit based Metcon. The accessory work for the Perform Compete program on a Friday is gonna be written once again by coach Stephen Hightower, who's our gymnastics coach. This block, we're gonna be focusing on continuing to develop pull up absolute strength. So we're gonna give you guys more complexity, more variation there, but we're also gonna be addressing the dip. The reason we focus on these two movements is that we're aware that a lot of the world is without the uh, equipment of most CrossFit gyms. So we're trying to break it down and keep it a little bit more simple. So that when we do come out of this period, we have spent enough time addressing the prerequisite skills for higher, more complex gymnastics. Saturdays continue to be Saturday testers. Uh, this is a chance for us to release a kind of pacing and strategies video ahead of time, similar to what we see in the open or for online qualifiers, gives you guys a chance to build a strategy, film yourselves, execute the strategy. And also these workouts will typically be a little bit more varied in nature. Perhaps they won't be so in line with the rest of the training cycle, um, but it definitely will consider things that we've done on those other training days. What we do ask of you guys is that you do take a bit of a mindset uh, shift to these sessions, plan ahead of time, record and film yourself, review and critique yourself. The accessory work on a Saturday for the perform and compete guys and gals is going to be upper body support. So expect to do a combination of pushing and pulling work that may be gymnastics bias, but also maybe loaded movements. And then you'll be finishing up with some shoulder accessory work. Your shoulder accessory work is both going to be focusing on hypertrophy for things like the rear delts and delts, things we don't get that much touches on in the training cycle, but also remedial support. So things like working on external rotation, rotator cuffs and your serratus. Guys, that is it for this episode of Inside the Program. Thank you for tuning in. Remember, it's really important that we get these videos to you guys who are following the program because we want you guys to understand the why, what, and how behind all the training that you do. Last reminder, remember to log your scores. Please engage in our online community. And if you ever have questions, reach out to myself or the coaching team, and we'd be more than happy to assist.